A princess and her brothers. A princess and her brothers. Once upon a time, there lived a king and a queen. They had six kids, five boys, and a beautiful girl named Mary. They all lived very happily together and loved each other. Five brothers loved their sister a lot and protected her. And Mary loved her brothers tenderly as well. But one day, all of a sudden, their mother got very sick and died. Everyone cried a lot, but there was nothing that could be done. The time passed by and the children were growing. They supported each other a lot. And one day the king decided to get married again. He married a woman who was beautiful outside, but not so beautiful inside. In fact, she was a witch, but no one knew it. And the first day when the king's new wife entered the palace, she hated all the children. She smiled at them in front of the king, but as soon as the king left the palace for business, their stepmother would shout at the children and show them how she hated them. The children didn't like their stepmother either. And once they all tried to tell their father about the true nature of their stepmother. Dad, she hates us. She screams at us. Don't say so. You've got a big imagination. Dad, that's true. She's evil. You better be careful with her. I don't believe you. Why are you saying so? She's the kindest woman I've ever met. Aren't you glad that your dad is happy? Well, we wish you happiness, Dad, but that woman is evil. She isn't who she pretends to be. But the king just got angry with the kids. When their stepmother overheard what they were telling to the king, she became scared that one day the king might believe them and might throw her out of the palace. And she liked to have a luxurious life. So she decided to get rid of the children. One evening, when the king was away, she put an evil spell on the king's five sons and turned them into five frogs. Now you'll be frogs until someone releases you from that spell with kindness and love. When Mary saw it, she escaped the palace immediately. She ran into the forest. She cried a lot. Then she saw five frogs in the lake. Oh, my poor brothers, I will release you. I don't know how, but you will be human beings again. But Mary didn't know what to do. She was cold and hungry, but soon she found the way of living in the forest. She would pick berries and mushrooms and live in an old empty house. One night, a good fairy came up to her and said, You've got the power to release your brothers. But how can I do it? You should make five coats for them from wild flowers that grow in the field. But while you are making the coats, keep silent and never talk to anyone. When Mary woke up, she was filled with hope and she was determined to do what the fairy had said to her. So, she went to the fields to pick up wild flowers. As she was picking up those flowers, a prince from the nearby kingdom was passing by. As he saw such a beautiful girl, he immediately fell in love with her. Dear girl, what's your name? But the girl wouldn't respond. She just looked into the prince's eyes and she felt she had fallen in love with him too. But she decided not to talk to him. As the prince continued talking, the girl kept silent. Oh, I see now, you don't like me. It's unfortunate because I am the prince and I like you so much. The girl wanted to say that she liked him too, but she immediately thought about her poor brothers and kept silent. And so the prince left heartbroken. Meanwhile, Mary made five coats from wildflowers. And late at night, when the moon was full, threw those coats on five frogs. Suddenly those frogs turned into her brothers. The next day, they went to their father and told him everything. And this time, their father believed them and threw his wife out of the kingdom. And Mary's brothers travelled to the neighbouring kingdom and told their story and how their sister saved them. The prince heard the story and was astonished by the story and wanted to meet their sister. When he travelled to the kingdom, he saw the same girl. But this time, the girl was speaking and explained everything. Soon, they got married, and Mary's brothers became the rulers of the kingdom. Moral. When you put others above your personal needs, you'll be rewarded with love and appreciation.